In this video, I will show you how to get the SharePoint Site ID. First, you need to understand what Site ID actually is. A lot of people are showing the site name or URL, referring it as the Site ID. The Site ID is a unique identifier assigned to each SharePoint site by the platform. It consists of a combination of numbers and letters and is not visible in the site URL or name. To find the Site ID, you'll need to use Microsoft Power Automate. Start by opening a new tab in your browser and searching for Microsoft Power Automate. Click on the first link from the Microsoft website to access the Power Automate portal. Sign in to your Microsoft account using the same credentials you use for SharePoint. Once logged in, click on the Create option located at the upper left-hand corner of the screen. From here, select Instant Cloud Flow. Give your flow a name, such as Get Site ID and check the box for manually trigger a flow. Then click Create to proceed. Next, click on the plus icon to add an action to your flow. In the search bar, type send an HTTP request to SharePoint and select this action from the list. If prompted, sign into your Microsoft account again to authorize the connection. Once the action is added, you'll need to configure it. Start by selecting the SharePoint site for which you want to find the site ID. In the Method field, ensure that Get is selected. In the URI field, type exactly what I've pasted here. Now, click on the drop-down menu below the URI field and select Headers. In the Key field, type Accept, and in the Value field, again type in exactly what I've typed in. Save your flow by clicking the Save button at the top right of the screen. Once saved, click on Test to run the flow manually. Select the Manually option and click Test again. The flow will start running. Click on Continue followed by Run Flow. Once the flow completes successfully, click on the Flow Runs page link to view the results. On the Flow Runs page, click on the flow you just ran. Here, click on the Send an HTTP Request to SharePoint action to expand it. Scroll down to the Body section where you'll find the response from SharePoint. Look for the ID field, which contains the site ID. The site ID will be a long string of numbers and letters enclosed in quotation marks. Copy this ID and use it as needed for your tasks. 